even though there we do have a lot of potential and we do have a lot of uh, positive attributes at our school, our facilities aren't the best, but that's not any fault on the administrators. That's fault on the funding that we get from the state. Despite that occurring, our teachers and our guidance counselors and even our principal really do push how important it is to be ready for a career, whether it be you go to college, whether it be you do a trade. They, I just think they really do a great job in making sure there's an opportunity, opportunity for everyone, um, which I know isn't um, available at every school. So PV definitely really helps push kids towards college, not like push is maybe the wrong word to use, but like advocate for college. You know, their class schedule was like, we had honors and then college prep level was where they tried to fit everyone. And then there was one more level below, I can't remember what it was called. But you also had like a, it's like a quarterly meeting whenever you were in school with one of the school counselors and like. But similarly, we would have college reps come to the school and it was primarily through the guidance counselors and then you could sign up and then they could also like um, send you emails and update you about what the school's doing, about when applications were due. We also like um, had a whole like seminar type thing with our guidance counselors where they showed us like how to look for schools and when to start looking and that showed us when the applications were due, when the common app was due. And, um, I don't exactly know how the funding went for Phoenix so, but um, similarly, like we had laptops in every classroom, a card of them. And then I know in the middle school, um, there were iPad cards. So the kids were allowed to use iPads um, in the classes. Like for like PV, like um, we would have like many turf fields. And if you went to like Norristown or another one of the schools like ranked below, like below us, they wouldn't even have like a turf field or even a grass field to play on. The football team gets like all of their equipment washed and like laundry done for them um and then like a comparable sport being hockey like with all of their gear and stuff um they don't because they are considered like a club and don't really have like their funding is for them like nothing is from the school i think i knew that like some schools like spring forward and all that got like more funding maybe even pv they got more funding than like the pots towns or whatever of the things but i never really i mean at least for me i don't know if ava's different i feel like we never really talked about funding at pv it just kind of like happened get from the state uh, a lot of times well i was just at a fair funding protest like last june uh, they're redistricting these state fundings and we're not getting enough as we as much as we need. And a lot of times the schools that are underfunded are schools that are similar to Pottstown. And that kind of plays into the negative reputation in a way. We don't get a lot of money to improve ourselves. So the other school districts in the area and people who have negative opinions on Pottstown feed off of that. And they realize that, oh, well, they can't improve themselves. They're easy targets. about it although I do think that like it's really important and it should be talked about more and like where the funding's going to the only thing